Let's do child's pose. So take those knees wide spread, extend those arms forward and melt that chest down to the mat. You might take some big inhales and exhales. Maybe starting to swirl that air the back of your throat. You might even walk your fingertips back an inch towards you and push into the ground. Maybe this is a really active child's pose. Taking a few more breaths here. Letting that breath really give you energy this morning. Eventually, we'll make our way up to a high plank position, tucking those toes, take those wrists underneath your shoulders, really dome through that upper back and draw that belly button up and in. You might shift forward and backward on those toes if that feels good, or you might just find some stillness, playing around with the energy coming up through the floor all the way through your body. Feeling at how your shoulders feel. Eventually, you're going to drop those knees down to a tabletop position. Dropping the belly, drawing that chest through. And then rounding through the back, draw that belly button up and in. Exhale, drop the belly down. Inhale, round through the back, drawing that belly button up and in. Exhale, drop the belly. Take a few of these at your own pace, connecting that movement to your breath. Going as slow or as fast as you like. might even decide to venture off, taking some big hip swivels if that feels good. Eventually coming back to some stillness, take a neutral tabletop. You're gonna extend that right arm forward keeping your gaze towards the ground and then extend those left toes back, flexing through the foot, keeping those toes flexed towards the floor. You'll draw that belly button up and in and find some length here. Keeping those hips square to the ground, keeping the ribs tucked in. Take a few breaths here. Eventually, you might plant that right hand down. Take those left toes and you're going to cross it over the right leg, planting those toes, gazing over that right shoulder at your foot, making a C shape with your body. So taking those left toes as far right as possible. Might even sit into that a little bit, feeling that stretch through your side body or feeling it in your hip. Taking a few breaths here. Eventually coming back to center, re-extend those arms out. And then drop that arm down, drop the leg as well. You might take a few cat-cow, releasing that spine. Eventually coming back to that stillness. You'll extend to that left arm now, keeping that gaze down. Send those right toes back. Drawing up through that belly, keeping those ribs closed. 
Take a few breaths here. Maybe once again, find some more length. And then plant that hand down. You'll take those right toes all the way across that left leg, planting the toes, gazing over that left shoulder at the toes, making a C shape with the body. Take a few breaths here. You might feel it in your side body. You might feel it in your hip. Eventually re-extend back to center and plant that hand down and leg when you're ready. Extending out to a puppy pose. Shift those arms out parallel in front of you. Melting the chest, keeping those hips lifted over the knees. Take a few breaths here. You might keep your gaze forward, or you might even bring that gaze down, placing the forehead down on the mat. Melting that chest down. And then shifting forward to a sphinx position. Plant those forearms down. Take those shoulders up and back. You might take some head rolls here. Letting your head release down, swaying it side to side. Massaging out your neck, however it feels good. Take a few more moments here. Letting that neck release. Eventually coming back to center, you're gonna plant those hands, maybe not fully straightened through your elbows, but you'll extend up, drawing that belly button up and in. Exhale, take it down. Take those arms up to a T position. Eventually taking that left leg up and over. Letting that right shoulder get a good stretch. Put that left hip hang heavy here. Take it back to center. Eventually extending out that left arm, take the right leg up and over. And back to center. Plant those hands by your shoulders, shift back, child pose, knees wide spread, arms extended forward, melt that chest down, reconnect to that breath here. Getting some deep inhales and exhales. Eventually shifting back up to that tabletop. You'll inhale that right arm up to the sky, interlacing it underneath the left. Keep those hips lifted, giving that right shoulder a good stretch. Take a few breaths here. Plant that left hand right by your face. Inhale, lift that right arm back up to the sky. Exhale, plant it down. On your next inhale, reach that left arm up. And then interlace it underneath the right. Exhale, giving that left shoulder a good stretch now. Keeping those hips lifted, if that feels good. Take a few breaths. And 
eventually planting that right hand by your face. Inhale, take that left arm back up to the sky and then place it back down. You might take a few cut cow again to release that spine or venture off. Eventually planting those hands, tuck the toes coming back to a high plank position. Shift forward on those toes and exhale, chaturanga down, keeping those elbows in towards the body. Inhale to an up dog, take those shoulders up and back. Exhale, tuck the toes downward dog, send the hips to the sky. If I need some length, you might paddle through those feet here, just building some heat. Breathing in and out, eventually finding that stillness. Send that tailbone up towards the sky. You might take your fingertips and spread them wide on your mat. Taking a few breaths here in this downward dog. On your next inhale, you'll bring that right leg forward to a low lunge position, dropping that back left knee. You might bring your hands to your thigh if that feels good, or you might cactus them out behind you. Maybe you interlace them. But think about drawing that belly button up and in, tucking that tailbone underneath the body and sending those hips forward and down. Getting a nice stretch in that left hip flexor. Focus on that breath here. Couple more breaths. Eventually planting those hands around the foot, you'll shift back to a half spot here. So straightening through that right leg, taking those toes up towards the sky. Find some length here in this half split. Whenever you're ready, shift forward. And we're actually gonna sit on that left hip, coming to a seated position, stacking that right knee over the left in cow face pose. You're gonna inhale, lift here, exhale, forward fold. So once again, having that right knee stacked over the left. Getting a good stretch through your outer hips. Try and keep a long flat back here as you're forward fold, as you forward fold. If that's not possible, just try and sit up really tall. Keep that breath going. Sending that oxygen throughout your body. Letting that tension release. You might exhale a little further. Eventually making your way back up. You'll plant your hands, step those feet back to a high plank. Take a vinyasa at your own pace. Eventually making your way back to a downward dog, connecting each movement to your breath.
when you're in that downward dog, find that breath, find that link, sending that tailbone up towards the sky. Long, flat back. When you're ready, you'll bring that left leg forward now, dropping that back right knee, taking that low lunge on this side. Maybe your arms are in the same spot as they were. Maybe they're different. And think about tucking that tailbone underneath the body, drawing that belly button up and in, Shifting those hips forward and down, getting a nice good stretch through that right hip flexor. Very active. Take a few more breaths here. Eventually planting those hands, shift the hips back, taking those left toes up towards the sky, long left leg. Take a few breaths here. Eventually, you'll shift forward, sitting on that right hip now, stacking that left knee over the right. You'll sit up really tall. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, take a forward fold here. So once again, left knee stacked over the right knee. Getting a good stretch through those outer hips. I begin to let that breath exhale longer than your inhale. Maybe every exhale getting a little deeper in this pose. Letting that oxygen swirl throughout your body. a few more breaths here letting that tension release maybe falling a little deeper into this posture making your way back up when you're ready you might extend those legs in front of you Maybe shifting them a little bit, sending the blood back. For our final pose, you might bring your feet into butterfly pose, or you might extend those legs out all the way into a straddle position. Whatever feels good for you today. But think about inhale, lifting. Exhale, forward fold, keeping a long, flat back. So if this is it possible for you, think about just sitting really tall, maybe using your hands to prep yourself behind you. But if it's possible, shifting forward, keeping that long flat back. Keep that breath going. Letting those exhales trail out. Eventually, you'll make your way out of this pose. 
Coming down to your back, draw those knees in towards your chest. Take a few rocks side to side. You might take this out to happy baby. Rocking side to side as well, drawing those knees in towards the armpits. Maybe you draw the soles of the feet together and draw those toes towards your face. Whatever feels good here. Extending those legs out. Take those palms up to the sky. And just begin to relax here into this posture. Fully relaxing. Shavasana. You might start to bring your awareness back. Taking some big inhales and exhales. Letting that breath fill your body with life. You might start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Make other small movements. Eventually roll into your favorite side. You'll cradle your head with your arm. Maybe eventually coming up to a seated position. Bringing those hands to heart center when you're ready. You might close those eyes down. Take a moment to be grateful for your body. Grateful to yourself for showing up to your practice each time. 
Maybe taking some big inhales here. Filling the lungs. Awesome job today, guys. Namaste. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>